Hi, my name is Joanna Szewczyk and in this video I'm going to talk about how lawyers can market on Pinterest to get clients. So the type of lawyers that I'm going to talk about uh, can include a criminal lawyer, civil lawyer, corporate lawyer, immigration lawyer, medical lawyer, intellectual property lawyer, trial lawyer, international lawyer, commercial lawyer, construction lawyer, etc, etc, etc. So whatever type of lawyer you are, whatever type of clients you help, Pinterest can help you reach your target audience, reach the clients that you want to get. So the desired um, state is basically getting clients that are going to pay you on time and that you can help, you can get them the desired result because you don't want someone to hire you and you, then you cannot help them with their case. Of course, you want to get clients that you can get their case solved the way they want uh, so that both parties are happy. Um, so how do you find this ideal clients? Actually, they should be able to find you and they should be able to find you easy and they should be able to find you um, and know before they even talk to you that you are the only person that they want to uh, to work with. So how to achieve that? Basically, you have to look at, the, at it like, um, not maybe from like advertising perspective, because I did look at a Google search and uh, look how, how, how how to get clients as an attorney and so google says friends and family uh, joined by association in your community develop your online presence social media advertising attorney lead generation services another effective online marketing strategies for law firms create effective website create google my business profile i would really never ever check someone's google profile uh, establish presence on social media. Use keywords re research to optimize your site for search engines. Consider PPC advertising. Blog regularly. Start an email list. Sign up as an author for an attorney directory. Uh, how to market law practice. Choose a specific type of law. Choose a more specific niche. Uh, build a list of clients and refers over time. Create helpful website. Give away free resources in your community. Network with local businesses. Consider building social media presence, but don't focus on social media presence. And invest in good SEO. Create special pages for each service. This is a good one. Emphasize your branding, definitely. Provide valuable content, for sure. Include video to build trust, for sure. This one's good. Uh, rack up reviews and invest in PPC advertising. Now, how to increase your AVO rating? AVVO, I don't know whether I'm reading it correctly. Sign up and claim your profile. Fill out 95% of the profile. List your work experience. List any awards you want. Add cases to your portfolio. List the legal and business organization with whom you are associated. List any publication. Okay, so you did all of that. You listed all the stuff that you did. You listed all the certificates you have. Now, how a person decides that they want to work with you based on your credentials, based because they found you that they Googled uh, let's say um, criminal lawyer Miami and they found you on top of search results and they decide that you they want to work with you No, they have to do their due diligence. They have to look whether you are the right fit for them So there are some good ideas like create a video to build trust. That's definitely a good one No, I wasn't Oh yeah, include video to build trust. That's definitely a good idea because people work with people and sometimes you work, you, you decide to work with someone or not based on the vibe that you're getting, whether you feel like this person's normal or you, and that they are logical like you or like they, they, they work similarly, or you feel like something's off about this person and doesn't even matter how good they may be, you just don't want to be around them. You don't want to have nothing to do with them. So building trust through like videos are very good because uh, people can see you as a person. They can find out uh, more about you that you can, like the, the seeing someone, they tell, tell you way more than just like reading reviews about them or, or reading um, the how many cases they want and stuff like that. So that's it. Another thing that's uh, very valuable here, what I found on Google was provide valuable content, definitely, because what actually happened, how people are looking for um, for the right person. So let's say if someone's going to hire a criminal lawyer, maybe it's their first criminal case that they are going through and they have completely no idea uh, what is achievable for them. So what they look, they look for similar cases. They look for cases that, uh, that they went through and they want to see what's possible, like what, uh, how it's going to look like, what is available like 
uh, what they can achieve go with going to court. So they're going to look for articles that would explain them similar situation of similar people in that, that, that they went through it. So the more content you have on your site, the more content you have on your blog, on your social media channels that explains particular situation of your clients, it's better because the more content you can provide, the more content you, they can they are able to find, they'll see, okay, so this person helped them um, go through the situation that, that, that I actually have and this was the result. And basically, if I want the kind of result for myself, that can be a good person for me. If someone goes and looks just like criminal lawyer Miami and they find a lawyer on the a based on the ABVO rating, I don't know how to read that, so I'm not gonna even try. And um, and then they can't find similar cases. Like they, it's not an easy decision for them whether this will be the right person. So it will never be like a trust build. So you'd rather have this trust build before the client even call you. So you want them to find the case that you, that you want them to be sure that the case that they're going through you already resolved for in the way that they would like their case to be resolved so you're a very 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 easy um, decision for them so how can you get those clients to find you basically what i do i help people get clients from pinterest because on pinterest people look for solutions people look for ideas for 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 solutions to problems that they have so let's say as an example if you are helping people going for a divorce so a lady decides that she's going to divorce her cheating as husband and she don't know how the process is going to look like because she never had any divorce in her life before and uh, if they have kids or not the, the, there is a lot of things that she wants to know so she goes through uh, she, she goes through uh, online search if she is a Pinterest user so of course she's gonna look on Pinterest and she's gonna find pins that say 10 things to ask lawyer in a divorce trial 10 things to do when you are divorcing and you don't want to lose your baby 10 things to whatever right so the more articles that you can provide that they will be looking for the more they they come to your site the more they see your face the more they see the the cases you want uh and the success rate and then the testimonials and the reviews and the videos that you do with your face so they can see the type of person you are it's way easier for them to decide that they want to work with you than if you haven't done that if all you did is like put all the uh, fill that 95 percent information on avvo and uh and have a website that basically says okay i'm a divorce attorney uh and uh, help people in miami so that's uh that's what you need to do you have to provide content that people are going to look for so similar cases things that they want to ask things to ask a lawyer how to decide like even i'm sure the right articles that say how to how to decide uh on a good uh, divorce lawyer like even those things you should write you and and they are going to find your content so with pinterest marketing we are creating a profile that's going to rank high uh, for uh, that your articles, the, the pins that lead to your articles, that lead to your content, uh, are going to rank high. So I created a course where I teach you step by step four stages of creating your, your Pinterest profile. First, you create an attractive profile that people know that you are a real attorney and this is a real attorney profile. These are the cases you want, you 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 can help them with. It's not a profile where you put your favorite recipes because no one gives a shit about what you like to eat. They want to know whether you can have them solve their case. So the type of profile you create for Pinterest is not going to be a personal profile. It's going to be a pro pro professional profile that people can find out whether you are the right fit for them or not. So first we are creating the profile, then we are growing the profile. So basically you need to have the right followers. You need to have followers who have this interest. Why? Because we need to for the algorithm, the Pinterest algorithm, to know um, what type of information you provide. You need to provide this information and people who have the, the, the interest, uh, they should be able to find your content, click on your content, read your content, and read more and more and more of it. Because that's how you're going to build uh, trust. And that's how our, the algorithm is going to know, okay, this person is a lawyer. So whenever someone's looking for lawyer advice, that's probably a good account to to to, to show. Um, 
second we're when, once you have the the account created and then we grow, grow it so we basically grow your reach we grow your following following not that much because that's not really that important but the reach is more important you want to reach as many people as possible and you want to reach the right people so that's what we are going to grow we are going to um manage your account so basically when you start adding the your pins that lead to your content we are going to help you learn how to manage that so that with the lowest time involvement possible you get the maximum results and then once it's all set up all your pins are leading to your content everything is added you're you're getting daily people following you you get people daily clicking on your pins and going to your site and familiarizing yourself uh with your profile then we're going to automate it so that you don't have to do anything on Pinterest anymore and you can log in as, as rarely as possible and you will be getting uh, people finding your content every single day because your goal is to have as many people who have the interest to find your content because the more people find you, the more people read through your cases, read through your articles that, that help them understand like the 10 things to do this and that or how to pick a lawyer or you know anything that, that they need to know the, the more people find find this information and they find it useful and they find it valuable, the more people they're going to convert, the more people are going to reach out to you and say, hey, I want to work with you, or they're going to refer you to their friends. So the goal is to get as many people to find your information and the right people. So that's what we are doing. And with the Pinterest training that I created, my goal is to help you get 10,000 people finding you on Pinterest every single month. So that's around 300 people per day finding your website, finding your content and getting to know you. So as if you were to, to talk to 300 of your friends and the next day to talk to another 300 of your friends and telling them, hey, this is what I do. Hey, these are the cases that I, that, that I help people with and uh, that, that's the results I'm getting, right? Because when you look at Google search, that's what it tells you, that you should basically get clients as your friends and family. But who has so many friends and family? Like, <laughs> you need to look further, right? It's not gonna be just friends and family. Um, so that's what we are doing. We are finding you the right people. We are, find, we are creating the content in the way that you're going to show up high in search results. And the very, very, very important thing when it comes to Pinterest, it's there's not a lot, a lot of lawyers on Pinterest, but there's lots of people who have interests uh, so around um, uh, around uh, everything lawyer related, or they basically need the solution for themselves. So there are people who are going to be interested. There are people who are going to click on and save your content, and your reach is going to grow. You're going to get more potential clients, and this is not going to be people who 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 don't have um, um, who are not decisive. Like you, you are you want to get people who are basically decisive, who make decisions fast, who know what they want. And um, make decisions fast, know what they want, understand that everything takes time, know that the power of branding is important. So that's the type of people that, um, no, sorry, the, the, about the branding is basically the, about you, right? If, uh, if you are the type of person who is decisive, you, you want to brand your, uh, your law firm, Def that's definitely uh, a good thing to, to to get the Pinterest training. Now, when it comes to how much time it's going to take you to implement everything, to have your Pinterest account up and running and bringing you those 10,000 people every single month, it will be around 100 to 200 hours. So if you have an assistant that can spend one, two hours per day, it would probably be around three months to set it all up. And um, and the good thing about it is also you'll do a lot of research or they will do a lot of research in terms of what people are actually looking for. You'll know the specific numbers, what are the volume searches of, 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 different, uh, of different keywords that people look for. So you can create even better content that's ex that is going to exactly hit the need of the, of the potential clients that, that are on Pinterest and you know exactly what they're looking for and where they are. So that's what Pinterest training is teaching you how to do it, how to get those people, finding you, finding you the right people, finding people who um, who are also uh, in, in more of a high net worth individuals because Pinterest is one of the platforms where 30, where, where then 40% of people who are on Pinterest makes over $100,000 uh, per year. So 
if you were to compare it to i don't know snapchat of course you're going to find more like women 30 plus years old uh these are basically women who need a divorce who need a criminal lawyer who need an immigration lawyer etc 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 so that's probably the uh the, the the type of client that you want to reach um what else i can say i can say a lot but i don't want this video to be way too long it's already 15 minutes so that's it for today um, if you are interested in finding out more talking to me in, in person uh, finding out how you can market your log practice you can definitely reach out to me i'm available on uh, facebook you can email me as well facebook is faster uh, that's it thank you very much have a great day and see you in my next video